Good afternoon students. In today's class we are going to learn a set of phrasal verbs. This is the set of phrasal verbs. These phrasal verbs they are compounded with the addition of the prepositions or the adverbs to the root verb bring. Bring is the root verb. The first phrasal verb is bring about. Second one bring up. Third one bring along. Fourth one bring back. Fifth one is also bring back and this same phrasal verb it has two different shades of meaning so that we are going to deal with that also in this session. The first one bring about. See the importance of phrasal verbs in English language is that they are going to give us a variety of the shades of meaning different from the root word or verb. Okay students coming to the first one bring about. Bring about means to cause something to happen. Uh, let us take some examples. Let us deal with some examples. The first one is the lady is bringing about a good research in the firm, in that company. Doctors are bringing about good medical advancements nowadays. The first example, the lady is bringing about good research in the company. The students are bringing about good progress in the college. The girl is bringing out good performance in, in games. Bringing about, to bring about means to cause something to happen. In all these examples, performance, progress, medical advancements, research, all these things, they are caused by someone. Somebody has caused all these things. The lady has brought about good progress, a good research in the form, in the organization, in R&D department. She has brought about or she is bringing about, she brings about, we apply all verb forms. And the next example is that the doctors are bringing about good medical advancements nowadays. And then the students are bringing about a good progress in the institution. The girl is playing very well in the football. She is playing, uh, she is showing very good performance. So, the girl is bringing about good performance in her game. So, this is how we have to uh, put this phrasal verb bring about in usage. Okay. We have discussed enough examples. Let us move to the next phrasal verb that is bring up. This is quite familiar for, for us. You understand it uh, very easily. Bringing, bringing up. Bringing up means to take care of. Parents, they bring up children. Okay, nice. The orphanage brings up children. The orphanage is bringing up the children. That boy, uh, he is not staying with uh, his parents because parents are staying elsewhere. So, his uncle is bringing up that boy. Good. That boy is brought up by the uncle. That's nice. So, to bring up means to take care of someone. So, shall I review? Now, parents bring up children. The boy is brought up by uncle. His uncle, his uncle is bringing up the boy. The orphanage is bringing up the children. The children are brought up by the orphanage. This is how we are using bring up. It's very easier phrasal verb when compared with others. Okay. Now let's move to another phrasal verb. Bring along. Bring along means to take something along with us. This is also quite easier. Okay. In rainy season, what do we take along with us? Raincoat or umbrella? Okay, don't forget to bring an umbrella along with you because it may rain. Don't bring the children along with you in hot weather. Okay, please bring umbrella along with you. That means please take an umbrella along with you. Don't take the children along with you in hot weather. He is bringing, he is bringing an umbrella along with him. 
he is bringing a raincoat along with him so taking something along with us that can be expressed using this phrasal verb bring along so we completed the discussion of bring about bring about means to cause something to happen some achievement some research some progress some performance some result the class brought about good result that example is also good example okay and coming to bringing up to bring up to take care of children okay we had enough examples parents are bringing up children parents bring up children okay bring along means to take something along with us don't forget to bring an umbrella along with you don't take don't bring children along with you when you go out in hot weather okay he is bringing a raincoat along with him because it may rain any time okay now coming to fourth one bring back this is also easier the important thing to note here is that this phrasal verb that has the implication to return okay let us ex first uh, discuss the examples will you bring me back some tea i am unable to fetch tea for myself because i am engaged in some work i am depending on someone to prepare tea for me so that in that context i can say like this will you bring me back some tea so this implies that the person whom i am assigning to get me back some tea he will return after some time after preparing the tea he or she after preparing the tea they will come back with the tea okay from kitchen or from tea shop okay then let us uh, discuss another example okay will you bring them back some dinner will you bring them back dinner because uh, you depend on somebody to fetch dinner for your relatives okay he is bringing them back dinner he may bring back them he may bring them back dinner so we are splitting these uh, two bring and back and uh, in between me them like that we are uh, adding the words me them pronouns reflexive uh, pronouns okay the use is important instead of going too deep into the parts of uh, the rules of the grammar okay bring back this implies that a person will return with something from somewhere okay he is bringing them back dinner will you bring me back some tea okay now i'll give you another example i want uh, a blue pen for me i am unable to get it i am assigning that job to someone can you bring me back a blue pen so he will fetch that blue blue pen to me he will come back with blue pen he will return with blue pen so the person will be returning that returning implication is there in this okay now coming to bring back in a different shade of meaning these photos bring back the memories of the past our precious memories of the past we are watching the photos of the past we are seeing them from the album photo album or from gallery these photos bring back beautiful memories very good you have performed very well this is another context i'm talking about now you have performed very well in your college days or school days and you fetched many merit certificates your father mother are very happy these certificates bring us back your performance in school days this is how your parents talk to you these certificates they bring back your performance in college days 
it means they remember to us they recall to us so here the implication is to recall something by seeing something you are seeing the uh, huge buildings in the past you have also witnessed uh, construction work active construction work which had taken place in that area so that you can use that context and uh, say this example like that these buildings are bringing back the construction work of the past so students i just would like to recall review the phrasal verbs what we have learned in this class the first one to cause something to happen the lady is bringing out good progress the students are bringing out good result in the class the girl is bringing out good performance in the game the doctors are bringing out medical advancements okay that's about the first phrasal verb bring about the second phrasal verb bring up me bring up means to take care of children exclusively that has only that meaning okay the parents they bring up their children his uncle is bringing him up good now coming to bring along taking something along with us don't bring don't bring the children along with you when you are going out in hot weather don't forget to bring umbrella with you it may rain any time and the man is bringing an umbrella the man is bringing raincoat along with him okay now coming to the next one the last one is bring back it has two differentiates of meanings the first one that implies the person's returning to us with an object okay he is bringing them back dinner he is bringing them back dinner that means he will return with dinner for them can you can you bring me back a red pen can you bring me back some tea okay this is how we are using bring back uh with the shade of meaning that we depend on somebody to fetch something for us and that person will be returning with that item okay and last one bring back again and here we remember something okay we are seeing the photos of our children or our, our friends and we are telling ourselves these photos they are bringing back very precious memories these photos are bringing back precious memories of the past and your parents are talking about your performance of your college days because by seeing the certificates file in your home these certificates are there all of you you have achieved all of them these certificates they bring back your performance your prizes of your college days of your school days okay these buildings they are bringing back the huge construction the construction work that had taken place in this area so students almost we have covered five phrasal verbs out of five one is twice used because it has two different of shades of meaning though it is the same phrasal verb try to use them in your daily applications that is very very important your use is that uh, gives you a lot of confidence that uh, boosts up your confidence and you will be able to use all these expressions very comfortably in your daily practice and day to day context okay do it students and my best wishes they always go with you okay students with this i would like to conclude i acknowledge all my references to cambridge advanced learners dictionary and before concluding i request you all to subscribe my channel and give your constructive feedback in the comment section thank you all